call this park board meeting for Tuesday, March 7, 2023 to order. First item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from the February 7th meeting. Yeah, we should receive those minutes in their packets. Does anybody have any additions or corrections? Okay. Hearing none, I need a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Second. We're moved by Mr. Pro, seconded by Mr. Dietrich. All those in favor, Mr. Pro. Aye. Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. I'm an I also. Motion carries. I think Rob has something he wants to address now. I do. Uh, park board members and all of our staff. I've asked a few key members here to join this park board meeting. We've got years of service acknowledgement uh, that we would like to um, gift. Uh, to start off, we've got Sharon Yeoman. Uh, you've been with the city for 15 years. And uh, as of July 30th, 2007. Wow, well, come on up. I'm not using that clause, it's fingerprints. <laughs> so appreciate everything. We'll get to we put you all the book over all that today. Want us to move over there? Here in a second. Then we'll all get there in a minute. One time. Yeah. This is very well organized. Jeff Madison, <laughs> February the 10th, 2003, has been with us for 20, for 20 years. Yep. Thank you. Shake your hand. Brad, Brad Hale. Uh, he's with our parks maintenance. Brad started with us. Uh, March 1st, 1998. He's been with us for 25 years. Wow. This is very evident. Uh, <laughs> didn't have the internet back then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, where do you want everybody to be? Uh, well, you want the board members? Members could, like, comes to the middle. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to go through the whole list of people. Yeah. 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 Put their hands, hands over. <laughs> <laughs> Come out. Sweet stick in there. That's good. I see everybody's faces. One, two, three. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate all yeah, your service. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Jeff. Is that when you start full time? Or part time? My first home was in 94. Edwards. Seeing you. Wow. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. I remember all you guys when you had hopes and dreams. More like beat them down. Personality. Well, again, we really appreciate you. Speaking on behalf of the board, we appreciate your years of service. Everything you have done for the city and continue to do for the city. I know each and every one of you personally and your you're good boys, you're good people, so thank you. Jeff, right? This is a very long event. You guys are welcome to stay. If you want, it's all kind of obvious it's a long one. So we all want to head out. We're not going to replace people. Yeah, I do have an appointment to get my dog's tail curled. So. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Okay, next item on the agenda is the attorney's report, and it is a long one. Wow. It's all Rob's fault. <laughs> All right, first is consideration of East Street Hoosier Beer and Fan Fest 2023. It's uh, September 2nd, uh, 2022. That's a typo there because clearly that already happened. Um, I can fix that, um, but from 1 to 10 p.m. This is the same event they had last year. I don't know if you guys remember last year, I did raise the concern on uh, the beneficiary of this event, uh, which we typically set a precedent on. Uh, having events in our parks. Uh, I would ask though that if, if on legal review and maybe your guys' consideration as well, that in if you guys were to, were to accept again the, the second uh, event of this nature at the amphitheater, uh, that the agreement have stated in there about uh, the verification of the beneficiary and maybe ask them on a report afterwards on how much was to be donated to the beneficiary. I think it's a precedent that we probably would like to establish, or I would suggest that we establish 
um, to ensure that there's always some sort of <coughs> benefiting factor for these not for profit. Anybody, anybody got any questions or comments? Something to the deal. Yeah. So you, did you move to verify the approval and then just with terms and conditions of uh, when verify who the beneficiary is and a report to be filed okay. with the board afterwards and then I changed the date from 22 to 23. Okay. So you wouldn't need to sign one before the other. Would you or would? would not because I'll, I'll type it they wouldn't the, that extra provision you know, approve their use of the parts subject of right. the additional terms and conditions or sure. rob request. Okay. Questions, comments, room? Okay, hearing none, I need a motion to approve the use agreement for Hoosier Beer and Van Fest 2023 uh, with the stipulation that the uh, Concerns that uh, city attorney and Rob have will be addressed. So moved. Second. So moved by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Prost. All those in favor? Mr. Prost. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Dietrich. Aye. I'm and I also. Motion carries. Next is a consideration of purchase, purchase agreement from, I mean, butcher this, Aerolops. <laughs> I, I assume that's how it's pronounced. Um, these are for. Panels. You guys approved these last time. These are these are uh, the change or something. I don't know what it was. There was some legal. Yeah, there were some light ups they did the last time. We just did. Uh, you guys just approved on that again. I think it might have been the warranties or that was the delivery. Yeah, the delivery delivery section. Okay. So we, we, can we do we know what the changes were? So, uh, I think there was a change in the delivery section. They wanted to change the payment section, but. They end up being okay with the way. Okay, so this is the same, yeah, same contract, product, product, everything. just the only thing that's changed is the day delivery. Yeah, the delivery section. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're just approving a contract with that that stipulation change. Okay. Yep. Yes. Other questions or comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the purchase agreement with Aero Lux. So moved. Second. And moved by Mr. Dietrich, seconded by Mr. Prost. All those in favor, Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. I and I also motion carries. It's corporate sponsor sponsorship agreement with Johnson Memorial Hospital for the summer concert series. Okay. Any questions? Be happy to answer. Is this we we partnered with this group many times? Is there a second year? Or okay, second year. Right. Third year. Right. Thanks, Dave. Questions or comments? None. Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the corporate sponsorship agreement with Johnson Memorial for the summer concert series. Okay. So moved. Second. A move by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Beecher. All those in favor, Mr. Beecher. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Brooks. Aye. I and I also. Motion carries. Next is a consideration of use agreement for surge staffing. I think they want to hold a hiring event in Freedom Park, um, May 15th. 13 or 15? 15. 15. 15. It's May 13, I believe. I thought they emailed us. Change? It changed. It says, it. Yeah, it says the 20th on their event notification, but that's been scratched out. And the 13th has been written in. So it is the 13th. It is May 13. And, and we've dealt with these this group before. Uh, I, I have not. I don't know if Heather has spoken to this group before. This is the first time I've spoken to them. Okay. This sounds like they want to occupy a parking lot, uh, set up some sort of uh, hiring uh, kind of program, resources throughout the city, uh, yeah. kind of outreach on that. Uh, I think it's to help maybe some minorities with some job placements as well. Let's we'll educate them about some potential resources that are out there for. Uh, See, I had a uh, when I read this this afternoon, the event notification, it was kind of vague on what they're doing. It is very vague. 
Heather's had, I, I know, a handful of conversations yeah. with them. Right. I see the notes that Heather's written. It's, that's yeah. a little more specific. I was just surprised that the event notification was so big because that's all we got. Right. I mean, I I can add two, two, but still, it's, yeah. you, you don't know exactly what their intent is. Yeah. So. Can we test the loom, Ryan? I, you know, you never know. Uh, does staff come forward with this? I, it, I'm not uncomfortable with it. I don't see that there's a big, okay. I don't think there's a big red flag here for us. Okay. Um, I, I think it's just they want to have it at one of the parking lots in Green Park. It's the kind of what I'm taking it. And, and, and during that time, May 13th, it's fine. Yeah. It doesn't conflict with anything. Okay. Wipers will have a problem. I just want to make sure yeah. you're comfortable with it because if there's any fallout, you're going to have to deal with it. Yeah. Understood. Sure. Any other questions or comments from the board? Okay, hearing none, I need a motion to approve the use agreement with surge staffing. May 13th. Excuse me, for May 13th at Freedom Park. So moved. Second. We move by Mr. Prost, second by Mr. Burton. All those in favor, Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. I'm and I also motion carries. I ain't type up a new one or you just take a pen and put a three. Or the five. Do you have the written agreement? Yes, right here. Okay. All right. Next consideration of use Green, Green, Greenwood Middle School tennis practice. Appreciate the Greenwood School Corporation reaching out and getting the use agreement on this. Uh, it's been the middle school. Uh, they can walk over, they frequently walk over and use the tennis court for practice or whatever after school. Um, happy to help facilitate that. Tennis courts are free to park. 3 30 to 5 30, Monday through Friday. Okay. Yeah. Looks like. Questions or comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the use screen with Green Middle School for their tennis program. So moved. Second. We move by Mr. Dietrich. Second submit by Mr. Burton. All those in favor, Mr. Prost? Aye. Mr. Burton? Aye. Mr. Dietrich? Aye. And I also motion carries. Next is a amendment to public works contract for autos, par autos parking marking. Don't say that three times fast. Um, that I already approved one contract. This is them just adding an, an additional park project to the, the, the previous agreement. Yeah, so autos on top of doing the crack ceiling and seal coat of parking lots, they also do striping, obviously. Uh, field house, there was some uh, restricted parking striping out of the front of the field house area. Uh, we're just trying to make sure we tighten up and uh, communicate very clearly on what's a no parking zone around the field house area. This is that drop off area there in front of the field house. Is what notify people and communicate that that is a no parking area. Strike. Dumb question, but you don't want to do it now, do you? I do. I do. It'll be temporary. It'll be a temporary strike and we'll get it done. Get it oh, down. Okay. So I don't know when they're going to pay. Me. I, I don't you. know when that finished pay is going to go. That's the answer I want. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, hopefully this will lead you to some problems. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the amendment to the public works contract with autos parking marking. So moved. Second. Been moved by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Dietrich. All those in favor, Mr. Dietrich? Aye. Mr. Burton? Aye. Mr. Brooks? Aye. I know I also look curious. The next ratification of purchase agreement for from Jacoby Sales for a Buta. Uh, diesel tractor. Uh, we previously approved this. However, we had a cost increase from the time you they uh, you guys approved it to when we got back to them, which was you know the market just changed. So yeah. Took too long to get it in. So. Didn't you get that quote like last fall or something? Or? Yeah, it was like in November, and then Kubota had a price increase uh, January one. Uh, so that increase just reflects that price. So the new price, the agreed upon price is forty thousand two sixty nine, right? Say that again. I'm sorry. The new price is forty thousand two hundred sixty nine dollars. Right. Okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the purchase agreement with Jacoby Sales for the 
revised price on the component tracker? So moved. Second. The move by Mr. Uh, Prost, second by Mr. Burton. All those in favor, Mr. Prost. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Dietrich. Aye. I'm an I also motion carries. Next consideration of purchase agreement from Callister Machinery Company of a uh, Kabuta diesel utility vehicle and a snowplow. So, what you're seeing up on the screen, uh, just for reference, I think you created one of these two years ago, three years ago. Um, incredibly beneficial. Like, we didn't even realize how much we needed it until we got the other one guys approved. Uh, we also got that with the snowplow. Uh, got an enormous amount of feedback from the residents about how much they've enjoyed having the all the pass plow. Um, in addition to the one that we already have, it also serves uh, purposes in the spring and summer for uh, working out in parks, um, spraying. We have a tank for the back of it as well. Um, this will help alleviate, alleviate that load that we use on the other one. Um, and they'll be able to put that in the fleet and get more things done with it. So this is an additional one with the snow plow, and that's, that's what that is as well. Uh, we had forecast for this purchase. We purchased 25, we budgeted 25,000 uh, last year's budget. Uh, this thing's coming in about $1,200 over our budget amount from last year. Um, so we'll certainly be able to make that up as other capital improvements within our 400s. Uh, Asking you guys for consideration for $26,232.93 uh, for the deal that you guys see on your screen. And these are just used exclusively on the trails? Uh, uh, they are. You, they are. You you know, you these these parking lots make this great all around, from hauling mulch to planting bags to driving around our parks, taking care of that, yeah. push the snow, yeah. whatever you guys put on the store. Anything else, minimum? I'd ask when you approve it with the terms and conditions to be finalized by legal in case they have that issue. So we don't have to go back to where you guys if they change something for delivery or anything like that to the, disapprove the purchase. Anything else, Warren? Hearing none, need a motion to approve the purchase agreement with McAllister Machine Corporation for the Kubota utility vehicle uh, with the stipulation that the uh, final contract be approved through the vehicle. So moved. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Dietrich, second by Mr. Prost. All those in favor? Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. I'm an aye also. Motion carries. Next consideration of public easement and temporary construction easement grant for the Boone's property. Assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. Boone's property for the, the trails, Parks Department's building. Uh, guys, uh, so what you guys are approving is the Boone's uh, legal uh, easement uh, is for, for sorry. $550, $550. It's the uh, second, second to last page. Yep, $550 uh, for Boone's. They are the parcel that's highlighted in blue or purplish um, color. So you guys can see the, the easements that we've acquired so far. Two, four, six, seven, eight. We've got eight total. That'll be the ninth easement. Um, we're still working on the three consecutive ones that are in the red. Uh, one of the four consecutive ones that are in the red there. We're still working on those. So I need to be part of this consideration for the Boone's uh, easement uh, for $550. Um, this contract that's in front of me does not have Mr. Crow's name on it. As a uh, it's Kennedy's name on it, but last board member, does that need to be changed for the sign of this? Or? Um, he can just mark that out and put his name on it. Okay, we can probably need to retire it just to get it done. It's fine. Questions or comments? Okay, hearing none, I need a motion to approve the uh, public easement and temporary construction easement grant for the Boone's property. Second. The move by Mr. Burton, second by Mr. Dietrich. All those in favor, Mr. Post? Aye. Mr. Burton? Aye. Mr. Dietrich? Aye. 
I'm, I also motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, next consideration of preventive maintenance agreement with sex and mechanical. This is a standard ongoing agreement for mechanical and inspection services at the uh, field house. Community center. Community center. Uh, <coughs> so if it's Mike George, has any questions, it is permitted to make sex mechanical for all the HVACs. Uh, it's $9,840 for 2023. That's for the whole year, right? Correct. We've been using sex for quite a while, right? Yeah. Okay. Questions, comments? Okay, and hearing none, I need a motion to approve the uh, Miranda maintenance agreement with Sexton Mechanical for the HVAC work at the Grand Community Center. So moved. Second. So moved by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Dietrich. All those in favor, Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. I'm and I also. Motion carries. Next for uh, youth screaming to baseball academics Midwest at Westside Park for uh, their baseball practice on various dates in March. Uh, here's the question. This is Westside Park. Uh, as Drew was stated earlier, it uh, goes from uh, March. Very recent soon uh, through to mid April, uh, 6 a.m. 8 a.m. Uh, Bam, Bam Baseball, it's a non prep request. We've never worked with these this organization before. Uh, we obviously have absolutely no conflicts with this or no issues. Uh, it is something they want to do, they want to do it for practice. It seems to be a very, it's become very common uh, for this to happen. I didn't even notice that it is 6 a.m. It's not, it's 6 a.m. It is p.m.? It's just p.m. Okay. So, um, question, are they requiring lights? They did not ask for lights. Okay. And they are, yeah, they are paying for this, right, this rental? Yes. 695 for the total? Yes. Okay. Did the agreement their request say PM or did I type it wrong? Well, in their event notification, it says AM. It does. It does. It's And you got it's six to eight. Yeah, you got AM in here on your contract. Okay, so I, I typed it right. That's yeah. It was my mistake. You may change on that. Yeah, you on the the form you sign, I just uh, changed the A to a P. Okay. Time. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, okay. Like the time change. Yes. <laughs> Maintenance, you're okay with this as far as getting, and they're not requesting any prep, but you're obviously you're going to. Okay. Do we have a portal light out there at this time of year up front? Oh, uh, yeah, we will with the uh, our yes. softball program. Okay. Well, so, well, they want it. They're aware. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, any other questions, comments concerning this? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the use agreement with BAM Baseball for the rental of the West Side Park softball diamond. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Pro, seconded by Mr. Burton. All those in favor, Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Pro. Aye. I'm an aye also. Motion carries. Next is a corporate sponsorship agreement with Winters Plumbing um, with Freedom Springs Park for some advertisement. As you guys know, we're always working on our uh, partnership matrix, uh, trying to make sure we have cost recovery mechanisms in place. Um, one of the one of the ones that we're presenting with you tonight uh, is our souvenir cups that we sell at Freedom Springs. They are currently branded as Freedom Springs. We'd like to co-brand that uh, with a partner. Uh, that would be Winners Plumbing has uh, stepped up to ask for that uh, partnership. They would get a uh, logo impression on a thousand souvenir cups sold at Freedom Springs concession stand. They'd get one pole banner, uh, be their choice between the parking lot or within the facility. They would get a logo impression on the Freedom Springs website and on our seasonal program guide, the playground. 250 admission tickets uh, with their company logo, and then five partner bags, which include souvenir refillable cups in those as well. Uh, it's for a one year partnership. And in return, we get a thousand dollars to help. 
How long does a thousand text last? Uh, well, it's not like, yeah, it's not in July, it's not that long. Yeah, we sell about 1200 cups a year, so that will that will cover well over 95% of the year. Did they come to us? Or did we contact them? It's a it's a major, it's one of the partnership matrix our team's been kicking around. Um, and you know, we kind of cast it out there, see if they buy it. Winners was, was all over it. Where are they? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The green one. They're right, right there. Yeah, we're hurting. It's a good way to get their name out there. Yeah. No, so, so appreciate the effort. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Hearing none, the uh, most we get to approve the uh, partnership agreement with Wendy Plumbing for sponsorship of Freedom Sprint. So moved. Second. We moved by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Dietrich. All those in favor, Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Probst. Aye. I am and I also motion carries. Next, the consideration of service agreement for main event sound and lighting for Freedom Fest. They set up a secondary stage for the concerts that go on that day. Um, when you heard, I asked you for the terms and conditions to be finalized by legal in case there's any changes that they need to make after they receive the contract. I did ask if this was a rental prop. Purchase, not a purchase, but a rental fee. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I wish I could buy stage for that. Yeah. Is this the same stage we used last year? Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. Come a long way from the uh, yeah. back of a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is audio, lighting, staging, and labor. Um, there was some questionable sound quality last year as far as the back the event on. So in addition to that, I've asked for uh, intermittent towers to be placed uh, midway up the event lawn. Uh, and that, that's inclusive of that as well. Uh, been using main event sound lighting for 10 years now. Uh, this particular quote is for $13,906.48. Is that the delay speaker tower? <laughs> is that the delay speaker tower? Yes, sir. Thank you. It wasn't loud enough. I don't. I think there might have been. I mean, it was a lot for that system they had last year to push that sound out that far. Um, they think this, these intermittent speakers were going to help alleviate that. Um, it was the distance issue. Maybe I'm showing my ignorance, but is this basically a, boot, a Bluetooth tower system? It is. Okay. Yeah. No, I asked the exact same question. Yeah. It is. It's wireless. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Yep. Come a long way. Right. That's for sure. And then there's images and graphics there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's impressive setup. It really is. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the service agreement with Main Street Sound and Lighting for the stage. Is this a secondary stage? This is the only stage. Okay. For the main stage of the Freedom Festival with stipulations upon a contract. Uh, approved completely. So Second. We move by Mr. Burton, second by Mr. Dietrich. All in favor. Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Pro. Aye. I'm on also. Motion carries. Next is the consideration consideration of installation agreement with recreation insights. It's for the Property already owned by the city for the sports complex, or then install it for the, I guess, the dugouts. Or my... This is the playground. Oh, playground? Yeah. 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 Uh, so, <laughs> so, we guys approved the um, purchase of the actual physical playground last year. I think it was late last quarter last year. Um, now we're getting uh, closer as the site develops, uh, getting things installed. Uh, we have a quote from Recreation Insights uh, for $230,000 for the install. Uh, the sum I'm ready to show you guys here. Also in plan. Um, the blue area there off to the left, that is the splash pad. Um, that's already being covered with the actual uh, manufacturer on that. The kind of purple area hash, uh, you can see the letters uh, that are identifying each piece of play equipment or apparatus. Uh, so that's kind of the plan view of that. And I can go into um, the actual uh, 
uh, pretty uh, equipment of each piece. Uh, this is the two to five structure uh, that will be there um, for them <coughs> to install. And then also we have a lot of modular pieces that will be uh, put in around there as well. Um, balancing, uh, baseball theme, steppers. Uh, there was also artificial mounding and turfing that was incorporated in that as well. Uh, part of that quote uh, is, is the install of that. Uh, we've also got uh, multi bay swing areas. Uh, again, more modulars. Modular called Supernova. Spinner bowl. <coughs> and then the main attraction. Uh, will be our tower, climbing tower uh, with the net structure inside. It's themed with a baseball on top and it's got two slides come along with that as well. Uh, we, we certainly wanted that wow back for that big impact on there, uh, being the proximity close to 65, uh, and then the scale of the park as well. Uh, so that will certainly be a centerpiece. That particular piece as well is, is uh, being placed on access within the park. Uh, so it lines up. Uh, perfectly between our on the axis of the north diamond, uh, we start directly north. So if you sit on that piece and you look south, you'll look right down the vista of the uh, of the north quad uh, into the plaza area between the north quad and south quad. Give an idea of how many square feet the whole play area <coughs> that um, that all those pieces are going to be. Well, I probably I don't know off on my head. Um, but I can I can definitely get back to you on that and get that to you very quickly. And it'll be inclusive with the splash. I can break it out. I can break it out in the whole park, the whole play area. Just then, the play area is really what I was wanting yeah. to know. Uh, and then I can let you know. It looks substantial. I was just wondering it, if it is all that in there. And we incorporated a lot of like um, balancing components with climbing components. Um, and then natural components with the mounding and the tunnels going through as well. Uh, so you just work all those different agilities and have different playabilities. They are play levels, is what they call them on play levels. So a lot of playability in this in this layout. Uh, so the equipment you've already approved, what you're asking you guys for now is the installation of all that equipment. The six say this is probably the biggest playground we'll have uh, square footage wise. It will be on par uh, with uh, Old City Park. Old City Park is, is a substantial playground. Sure is. Forward to seeing it. So when you talk about installation, they're going to do all the grade work, concrete work, and all that stuff to set these pieces in. So the grading and all of the drainage underneath it will be done with the SCS that's on contract now, the contractor. Now the Safety surface material, piers that need to go and subgrade for all the play equipment, the, the mounding, the tunnels, the astroturf, um, all play apparatuses. That's here. That's so, uh, yeah, those, so map, those mounds, I've never seen anything like that really. That's really cool. <clears throat> so so be, you'll be putting in the earth berms? They, they will. So okay. far, they say installation. It, it's in here. They actually <coughs> talked about it in here. Yeah. Um, firm build for two tunnels. It's it's like it's lined uh, for eighty five hundred dollars. Uh, <coughs> I can we can go back to that. It was a more than indicative image. It wasn't a rendering. Uh, but we can certainly look at. That's what we got the idea from. Yeah, that is just the coolest thing. Yeah. So we wanted to do that. I'll go back to plan two. That's kind of a bridge component, right? So that bridge component will help separate some of the different age groups and different play feature components. So you know you're kind of transitioning to something different. <laughs> I've seen something like that, but I don't think anybody around here has got anything like that. So another feather on our cap. Uh, oh, no, one more, I'm sorry. Let's go back to that plan. I'll, I'll kind of highlight where that. So you can see where the green is. So it was important for us because swings are a very active, yeah. Large uh, safety zone area. We wanted to make sure we separated that from our two fives, but we wanted to do it with a feature, not just a big vast span of area. So we did that with that part. That's the green. That's E. Oh, I think that's a great idea. 
Because if you just put a two to five year old playground next to a set of swing sets, Correct. or even a more accurate yeah. older playground, the two to fives will run right in the Correct. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's a great way to sell right there. Yeah. We've done the similar situation. If you guys know, or, or uh, you know, city center park, where it's kind of it's broken up into, into zones. And what I mean by that is you've got your splash pad, you've got your two to five, and then you've got your five to 12, and you've got the mouth in between. That's now that artificial turf in it. This is the same principle, but instead of just having a passive mound, we've activated it. Oh, that's Any other questions or comments? I messed up on the title because it says glass replacement services because the contract I did before this was the fixed mirror at the field house. I just marked that out. That it's it's not really material to what the contract is. It's just the, um, and then all other, you know, in case there's any other issues, terms and conditions to be finalized. Is there a time frame on this, Ross? And I know it's it's an open ended question because of weather and relying on other contractors. Uh, that that is a that is that is a hard question. I am going to say sometime this year. Okay. How's that for? Well, yeah, and I just like I mean, I I don't know because there's a lot of there's a lot of variables that go into this. As far sure. as the site's got to be ready to receive. It. Well, you've got to get the equipment. In. Right. We're probably summer. That's why at least yeah. you lock them into a price. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the installation agreement with Recreation Insights for the playground equipment at the Greenwood Sports Park. So moved. Second. So moved by Mr. Burton, second by Mr. Deacher. Calls in favor, Mr. Prost. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Deacher. Aye. Aye. And I also, motion carries. Next use agreement for uh, the community center for Pacers basketball camp. I don't know if we've had this. It's probably. Over a decade before my time, this is the base for camp. Yeah, mm -hmm. most of the center, it's, it's a basketball camp. Um, June 14th, um, looks like 9 to 4 p.m. Long time. Always great. Yeah, it's uh, it's the junior pacer scoop tour. They go, they pick five locations uh, a year throughout the state of Indiana. We have most of it in the past, but they are going to come back this year. It's uh, a free event for people in the central Indiana area. Yeah, it's a fun program. They usually send a player out, and the coaches will be here and stuff. So. Questions, comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the use agreement with the Indiana Pacers for their junior Pacers basketball camp. Hoops tour. Hoops tour, thank you. So moved. Shake it. Good move by Mr. Prost. Second by Mr. Deacher. All those in favor, Mr. Deacher. Aye. Mr. Burke. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. I'm an aye also. Motion carries. Next, the use agreement, which happened this last weekend for the Christian Businessmen's Connection Mayor's Prayer Breakfast. <laughs> Questions or comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the ratification of the use agreement with the uh, Christian business, Businessmen's Connection for the Mayor's Prayer Breakfast. So moved. Second. Been moved by Mr. Dietrich, second by Mr. Post. All those in favor, Mr. Post? Aye. Mr. Dietrich? Aye. Mr. Burton? Aye. I'm an aye also. Motion carries. Next, consideration of search agreement for case construction for the repaving of the parking and the side road there at Westside Park. Um, if you prove it, I ask you to be done with the final terms to be decided by legal. So the road conditions going back into Westside Park. So once you get beyond that front parking lot, the road starts, it started to deteriorate really badly. It's an alligator beyond repair. Uh, there is an island that's in there that I'm sure that was built for to accommodate for trees. There was no trees in that island anymore. Um, we need to take out the, that widening and make it a very clean, straight line road. This is to hold that mill on the road and overlay on the parking lot. Uh, in addition to this, we're going to take advantage of the, uh, doing work out there. We're going to remove all the split rail. Um, because of this quote came in, we budgeted $200,000 uh, 
Um, you've got a little bit of money to play with. Also, going to remove the split rail and hopefully replace it with six pots as well to get a cleaner look. Uh, but right now, what you're referring to, you know, stay on topic. Uh, is is that that road full full depth mill and then a uh, partial mill down of the parking lot uh, and then a complete little lake construction. So they're going to do the lot too. The south lot near the dog park. Oh, not the front. Not the front lot's not that bad. Uh, but that's for one hundred eleven thousand four hundred dollars. Questions, comments. Well, I know we're always going to be happy to get this done, so I'll quit asking about it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this done out there. Yeah. So I yeah, appreciate it. Be a big improvement for the yeah. side. It's, a, it's a neat of it. But it's a big job. So. Yeah. Questions or comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the uh, service agreement with Case Construction for the reworking of the West Side Park rear parking lot and drive. So moved on the condition final contracts approved by the board. So, so moved. Second. Been moved by Mr. Pro, second by Mr. Burton. All those in favor, Mr. Pro. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Aye. And I also motion carries. Next is uh, a use agreement for Milwaukee Tools Family Night at the Greenfield House. This is an exclusive rental. How we met with Milwaukee Tool. I believe it was last week. Uh, they're really interested in having uh, kind of a company, uh, having their company kind of gathering at our facility, field house. We're looking at doing it July 21st. So we're we'll proposing July 21st from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Uh, and they like all aspects of it, uh, all the uh, different services. Uh, they would bring pizza and have drinks, raffle prizes. Uh, and just use the overall facility for entertainment for their employees. Uh, we, we do have a structure in place for exclusive rentals. The field has some nice work. I didn't know Milwaukee Tools had a presence here in town. Oh, very much so. They have a repair facility. East of there. there. Awesome. So we ran this by the field house staff as well. Uh, they're fully aware on board with whatever you guys consider. Okay. So they're selling food. No, they'll have, they'll have food there for their employees. They're selling raffle tickets. They're having a raffle or something. Oh, sure. But that's all so they that just, whatever, whatever they need to do to do that. Yeah. 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 Sounds like an employee slash family night. It's that's like, exactly what it like is. Like an appreciation night. It's for, it's, it's for Milwaukee employees only. Yeah. Big. Yeah. 500 plus big. Yeah. It's a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. So Questions, comments, or approved exclusive rental rates will apply. Sure. Okay. Need a motion to approve the use agreement with Milwaukee Tools for the rental of the field house on July. What's the date? I'm sorry. July 21st. Second. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Burton. Second by Mr. Teacher. All in favor, Mr. Burton. All right. Mr. Dietrich? Aye. Mr. Frost? Aye. I'm not also. Motion carries. Next consideration agreement with American Specialty Health. I, I, I was still working out some things with them, but it's all in the docket. I, I wanted clarification on the, uh, the max payout because it's $3 per member. It is $3 per member per visit, but it's not capped at just $30 a month, which is my concern. I didn't tell them the contract, but they emailed me back and did say it's, you know, it's a $30 cap per member, not just across the board. So per, per member, it's a $30 cap per month. Yeah. yeah. So if both you and I are members, we go and we go uh, more than 10 times. So, it's, it's yeah. so the payout would be $60 max. So we're currently enrolled in uh, other fitness network programs. Uh, Silver Sneakers is one as well. So on my head, this would be just an additional one that we would offer um, to the public as well that they can take advantage of these our facilities and get compensation. So we basically been approving this fee structure. Is that, yeah. what, is that what we're approving? Yes, there, there are some other pages. 
to the agreement that okay. obligates us to what constitutes membership and our obligations as a facility. Uh, <clears throat> the reason I ask is I don't have I don't have a uh, use agreement in front of me here, okay. so I'll, I'll be happy to come back and sign it later. Okay. So sh should we word this that we're approving the use agreement or that we're approving the fee structure? Um, both you're approving the fee structure and the use agreement to partner with the the health the so American specialty based. health. Yeah. The silver yeah. fit program. Okay. Yeah, uh, with well, final terms uh, to be approved by legal. Yeah. Okay. Questions? Okay. Uh, need a motion to approve the use agreement with American Specialty Network, American Specialty Health Network. Were there, what would you, you call Rob? Silver? Silver and fit. Silver and fit program active. at the. Active and fit. Active and fit program. And this so is silver and fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's exhibit G on their, their document. I know that. Exhibit G. <laughs> we'll go with they, that. They have various membership levels, and that's the one we're okay. partnering with. <laughs> All right. And this is at the community center, right? Yes. Okay. Or the field house. They have Okay, for the field house and the community center, the stipulation, the final agreement be approved by legal. Yeah. So moved. Second. Second. <laughs> Age before beauty. Oh. <laughs> Approved by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Dietrich. All those in favor, Mr. Brooks. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Dietrich. Aye. I'm not also motion carries. All right. Uh, <laughs> next use agreement with Danita Caster. It's a 6K. Some people would call it a fun run walk. I would not call that fun. Um, for a fundraiser, um, it's gave you on the trail between Northwest Park and the Northwest Park Annex. Okay. We've had multiple conversations going back and forth. Um, she initially wanted the Pole Kill Trail. We're really trying to discourage um, Pole Kill Trail because there is a, a, a gap, a trail gap there. And there's a village pantry that probably requires police presence to be on there. So anytime we have a 5K request, we Try to send them to Freedom Park, right? Because we can internalize it. Freedom Park was already booked. She didn't want Freedom Park. Um, she came up with this location on her own, which was Northwest Northwest Annex. <coughs> we got that trail connector now between the two parks. And somehow or another, she's going to work out the 5K in between the two parks. Uh, you, know, you know, keep it internalized. Is it a 5K? Yes. Okay. I, I, I want to make sure I didn't write it wrong. The 6K. It's an odd thing. So anyway, uh, somehow or another, she has found the link that she needs in order to accomplish the spin. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's creative to think outside the box. And I think you can see what kind of route she ends up with between two parks, to be honest. Great. Yeah, yep. cover two parks. Right. Questions or comments? And hearing none, I need a motion to approve the use agreement for a 6K run mm -hmm. walk at Northwest Northwest Annex Trail. Move. Back in. We'll move by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Prost. All those in favor, Mr. Prost. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Dietrich. Aye. I'm on also. Motion carries. Next uh, use agreement. Oh, no. It's consideration for advertising agreement with WTTS. I, I kind of look at this more of a, it's a solicitation by them for us to advertise with them. Um, I believe what we didn't get an agreement, so whatever the board decides to do, you would have to direct me to, to draft an agreement. I, I didn't really see a hard number what they're wanting mm -hmm. for consideration or compensation. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Rob has. Yeah, that. I can expand on that a little bit. So um, we've done this for many, many years. Uh, so basically, they're going to be advertising summer conference series, free invest, and adult night. Uh, typically, the, the payout on that investment would be $15,710. Recreation department is actively working on to see if they can put up, put together an event in time for the fall. Um, which, if they do, we will definitely want to get that promoted as soon as possible. Um, so, I'm going to ask uh, of not to exceed amount of seventeen thousand eight hundred twenty um, in the event that that event can get put together in time and we do promote it. And if not, then it'll drop down to the fifteen thousand seven hundred. Uh, those are the two variables. So the not to exceed amount will be 17,820. 
thought. Is this for a, this is for a fall event to complain? Is that right? So, this is a typical marketing agreement we've always done for many, many years. For the Freedom uh, Fest. Or Summer Concert Series, Freedom Fest, right. and Adult High. Okay. Okay. And typically, that base price of that total investment would be $15,710. Right. And that, that was listed in there. Well, that's without the October uh, festival. We, we are, get organized enough and we can get the Fall Festival and get enough partners to do an inaugural Fall Festival this year. We're going to definitely want to promote that. So I'm going to ask for not to exceed amount of 17,820 okay. in the chance that we can get the full festival put together. So we don't really have an agreement to approve. We just have parameters of an agreement. Is that I, I would say that's probably accurate at this stage. Correct. Okay. Yeah. You just want to be able to hit the ground running. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Basically, what we did last year, same same thing. It's what we've done in the last five years. Yeah, the cost seems almost identical. It is. Yeah. Okay. The only caveat is that it's the additional two grand, and that's in case we yeah. do the fall event. That's why it's going to accept it. I'm probably confusing it. I probably should just say, hey, we're going to do this for not to see about <laughs> seventeen thousand eight hundred twenty dollars. We'll just we'll just put it like that in the motion. Then. <laughs> okay, any other questions or comments? Let's see if I can get this right now. Here and none, I need a motion to approve the advertising grant WTTS for a to be determined fall event. <laughs> uh, the amount not exceeding $17,820 with stipulation that legal approves the final contract. Yes, I, I don't know. And, and I think what Rob was saying that if we don't do the fall event, if we're still getting the advertising, it'll be just a lower amount than the 17,820. Correct. I, I, I think we just do like promotional advertising with WTTS and not to exceed for 17,820. Promotional advertising is for, for the recreation programs from this year, not to exceed 17,820. So moved. Second. Then moved by Mr. Burns, second by Mr. Prost this time. <laughs> All those in favor? Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. Uh, I also motion carries. Frank, that's all. All right. Next is consideration of use agreement with Indiana Astros at Westside Park for baseball practice. Yeah, very similar to BAM baseball as well. I think Heather spoke to them uh, in not prep, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Different organization. Uh, if you got questions, I'd be happy to answer them. We don't have, we have no issues with this. It's a great way to activate for them. Yeah, these dates don't uh, conflict with the other yeah. thing that we from the band baseball that we approved earlier. Right. Okay. No Questions, comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the use agreement for the rental of the softball diamond at Westside Park with uh, yeah. Indiana yeah. Astros. So move. Second. Been moved by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Cross. All those in favor, Mr. Cross. Aye. Right. Mr. Burton. Aye. <coughs> Mr. Major. Aye. I am I also motion carries. All right. Next is the consideration and purchase agreement from Anchor Industries. You actually approved this back in January. Um, we forgot to put this back on the agenda for the parks board. Um, that you had to change some terms for the delivery on this as well. Um, I believe that was the issue. Uh, it's important we get this done because April 1st, the, the price for these umbrellas go up. Uh, but again, it, we, if you approve it this time, just ask for the final terms conditions to be approved by legal. That way, I won't have to bug you again about it. Okay. Questions, comments? <coughs> Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the purchase agreement with Anchor Industries for the umbrellas at the Greenwood Springs Park with stipulation that the final terms of the contract be approved by legal. So moved. Second. So moved by Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Prost. All in favor, Mr. Prost. Aye. Mr. Deidre. Aye. Mr. Burton. I'm an I also. Motion carries. Right, next is our consideration of a corporate partnership agreement with the Indianapolis Indians for our tiny T ball seasons. We would like to, for our youth program, our tiny T ball leagues, uh, the Indianapolis Indians involved with a partnership. Uh, after the parks will promote the following to lead the uh, clinic opportunity, um, not hold kids' club and benefits, league day at Victor Field, 
which um, includes a discount ticket for league memberships and families, free game on the field parade. Uh, Spawns or ship from the Indians would be a thousand dollars. That'd be for a one year agreement. I feel like this, um, there's other kind of impressions there on the top of that as well. You guys can review. Um, I feel like this is a good introductory uh, for what uh, could be a good partnership going forward with the Indians as we develop uh, more sports fields. Do we take advantage of the invitation for the turf clean? We we have. Um, I, I know that the maintenance has been there was it last year, two years ago. Yeah. Um, but we certainly have. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, any motion to approve the sponsorship agreement with the Annapolis Indians? So moved. Second. We move by Mr. Pro, second by Mr. Deacher. Call in favor, Mr. Deacher. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Probst. Aye. I'm not also motion carries. Next is professional service agreement with Hitchcock Design Group um, for an amount not to exceed $107,203 for uh, the design of landscape, architectural, and related services for the Freedom Park. Um, the final terms, I'd ask the final terms and conditions to be worked out by legal in case they, when they get the contract, they had other changes or things they want to add or change. Uh, so what you guys are reviewing, uh, we are wanting to do a, in order to design service uh, to look at putting uh, a pickleball complex out of Freedom Park. Uh, it would be between Freedom Springs and the North parking lot. Uh, this is with Hitchcock design, as Drew already um, said, for $87,500 in a fixed fee. That will be inclusive of all the site work. Uh, the MEP, which is Mechanical Engineering and Planning, um, and then also stormwater uh, uh, fees are in that as well. Uh, construction admin uh, would be would be set at an hourly rate as needed. Construction administration, once it's being built, to have these designers come in and check for uh, performance uh, deliverables. Uh, that's not to exceed amount of fourteen thousand nine hundred. And then also they give us a quote for 4830 if we require a survey. However, all we're asking you to re review and or consider is uh, for design services for Hitchcock for $87,500 for a pickleball complex and for your part. Questions or comments? Is this design build or would there be a contractor involved at some point? That is a design. Design only. Mm -hmm. 16 courts, right? Uh, as of now, as of a concept, yes. Preliminary. Yeah. Preliminary. Yeah. Questions, comments? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the service agreement with Hitchcock Design Group for the design work for the pickleball complex at Freedom Park. So move. Second. Been moved by Mr. Dietrich, second by Mr. Burton. All those in favor, Mr. Dietrich. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. I'm an aye also. Motion carries. Next is a consideration of first screen with <clears throat> landscape structures for a Skyways cantilever. It's a shade over at the sports complex with final terms and conditions to be set by city legal. Uh, this is, uh, again, another uh, loose line of equipment for the sports park. Uh, this is a shade structure. Uh, I'll share there where this is going. Maybe. Next goal. Uh, uh, we see letter E where the green is. Uh, you see just to the left of that, there's these sails. Uh, that is a placeholder. It won't be the sail triangle or sails area. That is the area. Um, the quote that you got for $26,281.13, that is for a cantilever structure. Uh, that structure is replicated the exact same one over we have a city center park, it is the yellow sale. Um, basically, the concept is, is to provide a shaded area between the play area and the splash pad. Um, so you can bring your own chair, you can swivel it around to wherever your kids are at at that time. It will be provided an open hard deck space with shade over the top. Uh, the parents can sit down and have past the sidelines to the kids throughout the player. You've used this, uh, this product before? Yes. 
it's literally the exact same shape structure. It's the yellow shape structure we're sitting on part of our space center. Yeah. This is just for the shape structure, not the installation. Great question. So right now, as of right now, the install is within SCS's contract. However, I'm feeling that SCS doesn't have a comfort level on doing this. So we're going to see if there's a credit we can work out with SCS, and then I will ask for a proposal for installing these guys. And that may be on the guys' later. Okay. Questions, comments? So hearing none, I need a motion to approve the purchase agreement for the Skyways cantilever shade structure agreement with Sports Park with landscape structures. So moved. Second. <laughs> Been moved by Mr. Dieter, Mr. Burton, seconded by Mr. Dieter. All those in favor, Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Dieter. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. Aye. And I also much curious. And I think that's it. We, um, we do have one walk, walk on okay. from City Legal for updated social media policy. Uh, <coughs> copy of handed out to you all. It's the uh, same that's been approved by the Board of Public Works and Safety. Um, this just give Rob more direction and advice with these removing posts on city social media pages when people are verbally abusive or again children and parents look at these things and we're taking their kids and people are conducting themselves in such a way <clears throat> makes us look bad or the city look bad or parks um, we want to rob to have the authority and the direction to be able to yank those right away so this is the same update that other boards are yes it's for the whole city policy for the city of Awesome. Questions, comments? Here, now I need a motion to approve the update of social media, po media policy. The city agreement. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Burton, second by Mr. Beecher. All in favor? Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Beecher. Aye. Mr. Prost. Aye. Aye. And I also. Is that it? That's it for me. Thank you, sir. Long night. Uh, next item on the agenda is the family fun night at the Griffith Fieldhouse. Yep, so Rick has come up with a new event utilizing the Fieldhouse and its uh, many different services. Uh, I'll go through these quickly. Uh, Friday, April 28th, we're wanting to do utilize the pickleball area, uh, which is gymnasium, the sports court, and have a pickleball pizza and pints. You guys can see the price will be $15 and what that includes. There's 32 slots available for that. The turf field upstairs, we're going to do bocce and brews, $15, uh, which will include open bocce play and pizza on the auxiliary turf field. Uh, the wine and the beer will be available by open barrel. Again, there's 32 spots available, available for that. The golf simulators, birdies, bogeys, and brews, uh, $100 per golf bay, up to six people, includes two hours of golf. Uh, simulator and pizza, beer and wine available to purchase from open barrel. Golf simulator times available to rent are 60 and 80. Uh, 8 15, uh, 10 15, six slots are available. Uh, we've also got the main turf field. Uh, we'll also have the parents' night out aspect of it. So, if you want to bring your kids, uh, that could be a great one of the giant movie theater streets out there uh, so that they can bring their kids um, and have that aspect of it as well. And whose idea was this? Uh, this was Rex. This was Rex Barman. Brainstorming and coming up with different ways to be lost. I think it's a great thing. Yeah. <laughs> All hands on deck that night. I love it. It's yeah. unbelievable. It's why I like our staff. They think it's not sitting on the wall. That's for sure. Okay. We need to approve this then? Yes. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Here and then, I need a motion to approve the uh, use of the uh, family fun night at the Greenwood Field House on April 28th. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Burton, second by Mr. Beecher. All those in favor? Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Beecher. Aye. Mr. Post. Aye. I'm an aye also. Motion carries. Good luck. Hope it goes well. Uh, next item on the agenda is the consideration for seasonal fees for the golf simulators. Yep. So we continue trying to evolve our operations. The field house, the longer it's open, the more we learn, the more feedback we get. Uh, Ricky and his staff just come to us and said, hey, all we need to offer um, seasonal rate for the golf 
all sims. I uh, reviewed it. Didn't take long to realize it made a lot of sense to us. Uh, May 1st, October 31st, member would be $20 per hour. Non member would be $25 per hour. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Hearing none, I need a motion to approve the seasonal fees for the golf simulators at the Greenwood Fieldhouse. So moved. Second. Been moved by Mr. Bird, second by Mr. Prost. All those in favor, Mr. Prost? Aye. Mr. Bird? Aye. Mr. Dietrich? Aye. I know I also. Motion carries. So on the agenda is the foundation report. That's a question regarding the foundation. We have an answer from uh, the shape structure of which it's an initially above the foundation. It's going to be installed at Craig Park. Uh, feel free to go up there and look at it as the construction progresses. Uh, foundations also looking forward to the umbrellas going in the spring as well. Questions, comments? Controls report, Craig. So the uh, financials were sent out. Uh, on your part time operating fund from 204. Right now, revenues are a little bit behind expenses, but that's because uh, you won't see your property taxes come in until June. But you still got a 64% uh, reserve ratio, so you're in great shape there. Food and beverage tax fund uh, revenues are running ahead of expenses, so we're in good shape. As an R fund, um, revenues were coming in strong, uh, well ahead of expenses, and then uh, I believe that summer camp registrations started up. So next month, you'll see a big spike in that one, too. Uh, so we've got a, a good balance in that one. Finally, is your park impact fee fund. Um, we haven't had much revenue coming in on that yet, but uh, I expect we'll start seeing some more come in. Uh, that'll get used, but it's got a good, good balance right now. That's good. Any questions? Questions or comments, Craig? Thank you, sir. Thanks for sitting through the meeting. Uh, parks report. I believe you have my report in front of you. Yeah, good question. More than happy to have I don't think I got things well in hand. You're taking care of business and clean things up for the new year. Yeah, we certainly like to think so. All right, sounds yeah. good. Went up northeast yesterday. It's an interesting look up there. <laughs> it's changed. It sure has. I, I really like to see that you guys are in CPR classes. That's that's great. You're keeping up on those. Yeah. Those little things like that are. Yeah, Luke and the. Really nice. Yeah, Luke is did a really nice job. Anything else for you? Thanks, sir. Uh, trails. I want to say before we discuss the PAS trail. Recreation report. Uh, you have a copy of the report. Let me know if you have any questions. I circle back to something on the family fun night, Ricky. I guess I could have done this at the field house. But when you say pickleball, pizza, and pints, 32 spots available, is that 32 individuals or 32 teams? 32. Okay. And so that's the same for each one of these individuals, right? Okay. Well, I think it would be like a phase, right? Yeah, the golf would be a little different. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to circle back on that. Does anybody have anything for uh, Nick on the recreation report? That's good. Really detailed. Yes, it is. Fieldhouse report. You should have a copy of the fieldhouse report. I would just like to mention the fieldhouse recently posted State of the City and the Merit Fair Breakfast. I believe uh, both events went very well. And then I would also like to mention that the field house did uh, officially hit over a thousand members in February. So it's a great milestone. So many girls, good job. Yeah, the place looked amazing. Thank you. You and your staff did a great job over there. Appreciate it. The layout and the way you had the, everybody enter, <clears throat> round. Dude, that was spot on. It was perfect. Yeah. It could not have worked out any better. Just need to work on the uh, chip a little bit. <laughs> or <lack of> <laughs> Sorry. We've heard. We've 
that yeah. feedback from a couple people. And, uh, I did. I hit one of the last pieces. <laughs> I, I didn't get it. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> All right, field house report. Thank you, Rick. Uh, community center report. The numbers are still looking good. Yeah. It always amazes me. Place looks great, as always, inside and out. Anything for sure? Thanks, sure. Any other business from the board? Hey, I was going to say, starting next month, yeah. we will start reading twice a month. Okay. Just as you guys know that. So, and again, I appreciate you guys going through this long agenda. Very active, very busy. So, apologize for the long agenda, but same uh, busy. I did skip an item. Any business from the public? Uh, signing the claim. I've already done that. If there's no other business come from this board, it's being adjourned.